underfoot and a missing crane. Hutch and company have returned from their last adventure and are all set to write another chapter in Clutch's adventure logbook. But first, there's another job to be done, so we find them at the airport, giving their plane the once over. There she is, Spinner, all finished and ready for a trip. That didn't take long, Clutch. You gonna test Hopper? That's what I have in mind, Spinner. Well, maybe we'd fly over to Meadsville. There's a circus in town. Paddlefoot wants to go, too. I'll watch up. Be right back. Golly, Paddlefoot, a circus. I'm sure going to enjoy that. As Clutch finishes washing up, over the loudspeaker comes... Clutch cargo, telephone, please. Clutch, Clutch cargo. picks up the nearest phone. Yes? This is Clutch. Who? Shotgun Lafferty. Of course I remember you. Are you still the sheriff of Robbers Flats? There he is, Paddlefoot. He got his call. I can't think of anything I'd rather do than help you. We'll be there in a couple of hours. We'll leave right away. Bye. Here comes Clutch. And boy, does he look serious. Something's wrong. We'll have to postpone that circus spinner. We're needed right away at Robbers Flats. My old friend Shotgun Lafferty just called. Says a whole train's missing. You, you mean a train? A whole big train? Right, Spinner. And loaded with gold. Come on. All aboard for Robbers Flats. Clutch and company board their plane and begin their trip. I've heard of planes disappearing on a short flight. But a whole train? That's a new one. How long has it been missing? Shotgun said it disappeared last Thursday. Not a sign of it or the $50,000 gold shipment since. The train was going to Polecat then. That's the next town. Only 40 miles away. Of course, it's rugged country. About like we're flying over now. As a matter of fact, we're almost there. Keep your eyes open for a big train water tower. It'll say Robbers Flats on it. How big a place is it? Only two buildings. A rickety hotel and a railroad express office. I'll bet that's the water tower. Yup, there's Robert's flat. And there are the two buildings. Hold on, you two. Might be bumpy landing in this field. Jump out, Spinner. My golly, I'm surprised Sheriff Shotgun isn't here to meet us. There's no one here, Clutch. But there's a sign. Robbers Flat. Biggest little town in America. Listen. That's a telegraph key clicking. Shotgun must be inside. Wow. Look at this place. A cyclone must have struck it. Oh. Oh. What's the matter, boy? Clutch. There's something behind there. Shotgun. He's been hurt. What could have happened to Shotgun? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Butch Cargo. Butch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot and the missing train. You remember last time, Clutch and company flew to Robbers Flats after receiving a telephone call from Sheriff Shotgun Lafferty. A complete train with a $50,000 gold shipment was missing. When they arrived, no one was there. Inside the railroad office... Golly, I hope he's all right. He got a nasty crack on the head. Otherwise, he seems to be okay. Come on, Shotgun, wake up. You're okay, wake up. You old varmints, take them masks off. You're fooling with the law. Whoa, whoa, Shotgun, we're friends. I'm Clutch Cargo. Fool with me, will you, Clutch Car... Clutch Cargo? What happened? What happened? Look at this room. Two masked men sneaked in while I was receiving a message. They both had guns, and I don't mean play guns. When I wouldn't tell them what the message said, they slugged me. That's all I remember. Do you think it had anything to do with the missing train? 
Well, no, it wouldn't surprise me at all, at all. Sure hate to think that after all these years, the robbers are coming back to robbers' flats. Gosh, just like the days of the old west. Now, who was on that train when it disappeared? Just two people, the engineer and the fireman. No passengers allowed. Restricted gold shipment. Where have you looked for the missing train? All along the 40 mile track. Clean to Pole Cat Bend. Never found hide nor hair of her. Is there a hand car we can use? Sure is. Are we going to drive it, Clutch? That's right, Spinner. Whoopee! Whoa! Whoa! Take it real slow over the big trestles, or you'll flip her and end up in the river 200 feet below. I wish I could go with you. But somebody's got to keep law and order and robbers in Robert's flat. We'll be back soon. Shotgun. Clutch and company speed along the track, looking for a possible hiding place for the missing train. I think I can get a good view of the track from here, Spinner. You and Paddlefoot stay on the car while I take a look. Clutch sees that the track goes down the side of the mountain in the big S curve, first turning back on itself, then going on again to the dangerous trestle bridge. At that moment, Paddlefoot, by accident, knocks against the hand car's speed control, and off it goes. Spinner, turn off the motor. Clutch <laughs> knows his only chance to save them before they reach the dangerous trestle is to cut directly down the mountain. Faster and faster speeds the car. It whips around the first bend. knows that his last chance to stop the speeding hand car is to reach it after it goes around the final bend. He's got to stop it before the crest. The hand car whips into the second bend. Hang on, Paddlefoot! Here we go! <laughs> you and Paddlefoot okay? Clutch and company continue on in the hand car. Then, rounding a bend... Clutch! Look! Another hand car! Coming right at us! <laughs> wow! Will Clutch and company escape a crash? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot and the missing train. You remember last time Clutch and company arrived in Robbers Flats to find Sheriff Shotgun unconscious. Two men had slugged him. Clutch and company started by hand car for Polecat Bend. As they rounded a sharp bend in the track, jump for it. It wasn't another car after all. It was the reflection of our own real car in a giant mirror that was set up on the track. Yeah. Gee, what a funny place to set a mirror. Don't you see, Spinner? It was done on purpose to either frighten or kill someone. The trap was probably meant for someone else, but because we were first along the track, we sprung it. Boy, I'm glad we saw it when we did. Could have cut us something awful. A very clever trick. Now we know we're dealing with someone who has brains. Come on, let's get back on the car. I still want to go on to Polecat Bend. And we've got to find that missing train. The motor stopped, Clutch. Probably stalled when they hit that big mirror. From now on, we'll all keep our eyes open. We're coming to the big trestle now. It's one of the highest anywhere. Ooh, what a drop. It must be a mile to the bottom. a short tunnel in the mountain. Please, this is fun! Soon they are on the last stretch to Polecat Bend, with no sign at all of the missing train. Hey, Clutch, more 
the track. We're coming into the railroad yard. And there's the train on the siding. This one's just been repaired. Imagine! A train as big as that just disappearing. Sounds impossible, but that's what happened. We'll stop here, Spinner. I want to ask some questions. You and Paddlefoot wait for me. I won't be long. Okay, Clutch. We'll be right here. Now stay still, Paddlefoot. Are either of you the station master? Not me. Me neither. Well, is he here? Nope, he's the postman, too. He's gone to deliver mail. Say, ain't you Clutch Cargo, the guy who's going to help find the missing trains? That's me, but how did you know? News gets around in a small place like this. Message just came for you from Robert's flat. Sheriff Lafferty's in trouble. Want you to come back as soon as you can. Said it was real urgent. Uh-oh. I guess those men came back. What's that? Uh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Well, guess we'd better get moving. Where are we going, Clutch? Back to Robert's Flats. Sheriff Lafferty's in trouble. Golly! I hope we get there in time to help him. <laughs> uh, there they go. <laughs> now we don't have clutch cargo snooping around here to spoil our plans. <laughs> oh, a fat man and a thin one. They're the robbers. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot and the missing train. You remember last time, Clutch and company were forced to jump from their speeding hand car. At the Polecat Bend station, they were told Shotgun was in trouble, and they started back for Robber's Flats. Clutch and company raced back to Robber's Flats. Through the tunnel, and over the high trestle. We're here, Spinner. Made it in a little over an hour. Look, Clutch. Isn't that Sheriff Shotgun on the porch? It sure is, but he doesn't seem excited. You okay, Sheriff? I certainly am, Crutch. Never felt better. Why? We heard you were in trouble. When we got to Polecat Bend, two men told me you'd sent a message that you wanted us to hurry back. Why, I never did such a thing. What do these men look like? One fat and one thin? That's their description, Sheriff. The sins be praised. They're the ones who slugged me. By golly, I'm going after them. They must be the mugs who kidnapped that train. They didn't want us in Polecat Bend. That's why they told us you were in trouble, Sheriff. To get us back here. So as they could finish their dirty work. We better all get back there fast. The hand car's too slow. We'll take the plane. Watch for anything suspicious while we're flying. I'll fly low and follow the train tracks. Glory be, look at that smoke. And it's not a forest fire, it's a train. That's the train Spinner and I saw in Polecat Bend. Looks like they're test hopping again. Maybe so, Clutch, but it seems to be going on my track for a test run. By golly, you're right, Shotgun. I'm going to follow it. Clutch banks around 180 degrees and starts a low path the other way. She's doing better than 85 miles an hour. Why is she going so fast? Fly along. There must be an engineer. It is a runaway train. Hold tight. I'm going to land on top of that baggage car. Here goes. Get along the roof of the cars with the locomotive. Hold it, 
tight, Spinner. I'm not having to take to the air just yet. I'm holding her. Oh. Clutch is making it to the engine cab. In the locomotive cab, Clutch finds the engineer and fireman securely tied up. I'll have you untied in a moment. We're getting powerful near that tunnel. If Clutch don't hurry, we're gone for sure. Who did it? An old man, a fat one and a thin one, jumped us as soon as we got down. Uh -huh. Keep the train going at this same speed. My plane's on the roof of the baggage car. Oh, airplane? Baggage car? I've got to get my plane off fast before we reach the tunnel. When you see me in the air, stop the train and take her back to full gas then. What? What? Hurry! Come on, Clutch. Here comes the tunnel. If Clutch fails to get the plane off, they'll all be killed. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot and a missing train. Last time, Clutch and company found Sheriff Shotgun in fine shape. Flying back to Polecat Bend, Clutch landed on the baggage car of a runaway train and untied the engineer and fireman, then ran back to fly the plane off the speeding train. Here comes Clutch, the sedge the train. Fast. Here comes the tunnel. Clutch pushes the throttle forward, and with a mighty strain, the plane rises. It heads back for Pole Cat Bend. Who tied him up, Clutch? The same two men you saw? Yeah, that one's all right. Spread the word around that another gold shipment of $50,000 is arriving at Robert's Flats on this new train. Those two men, the fat one and the thin one, are sure to hear about it. Oh, I get it. When they hear about another gold shipment, they'll try to kidnap this train, too. Right. And when they do, we'll be on this train and nab them. And then maybe we'll find out what happened to the missing train. That's the idea. Now get started and tell everybody. The new train with Clutch and Company and Sheriff Shotgun on board leaves Pole Cat Bend, headed for Robber's Flat. Keep your eyes open, everybody. We'll catch those crooks. Meanwhile, further down the track, someone has put a switch onto a new side track that leads straight to the sheer side of the mountain. Come on. One more good pull and we'll get these bushes clear. They pull and heave and the opening to a tunnel in the mountain is revealed. Okay, now all we do is wait for the train to get here. It won't be long now. I think I just heard the whistle. Get in the bushes. The train will have to stop right here. Now I'll switch the track. There. It shouldn't be long now. We're slowing down. Hey, look. Someone's laid a side track to the old mine entrance. We're turning. Going into that tunnel. Hey, Clutch! We're stopping! This is it! Get ready! Put your hands up, partners! Gosh dang the bridges! Horn swaggered again! Clutch! boy, Clutch! He got his gun! Clutch, he Jim the varmint! Well, here's half the gang, Sheriff. Now for the other one. There he goes. He's running down the track with that box of gold. I'll get him, Sheriff. Glory be, running is something my legs don't like no more. There's Clutch at the switch. If I can just time it right. He's running on the track. Steady. <laughs> Something's got me. Caught by your own device. Here's the rest of the gang, Sheriff. We've solved the mystery of the missing train, too, Clutch. It's just ahead of us in this tunnel. That's just what I figured, Spinner. And these two crooks led us right to it. Sure, no, and I can't thank you enough, Clutch. You and your pals have been just wonderful. That you have, Clutch and Spinner. And I want you to meet our railroad's newest engineer. And so in 
begins the story with Clutch Cargo and his pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot, and the missing train. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.